While it's been business as usual on campus, behind the scenes for the past few years, there's been plenty of work preparing action projects, a systems portfolio, and more. It's all required in order for renewed accreditation at the college. Accreditation is uh, institution's lifeblood. Uh, without accreditation, uh, we do not qualify for to receive federal funds. So accreditation is very important to our existence. Even though this process happens every 10 years, many faculty and staff members weren't here during the previous accreditation. One of the final steps will be on-site visits within the next 12 months. The visit is a three-day visit. Send a couple peer reviewers from the Higher Learning Commission. They'll want to meet with the cabinet, the president, the board, uh, action project members. But there will also be separate meetings for uh, faculty, staff, students to, to meet with them. Peer reviewers verify Columbus State meets criteria for accreditation and expectations of the federal compliance program. They'll also determine the state of continuous quality improvement. You might have noticed it's become known as CQI. It's sort of an offspring of AQIP, the Academic Quality Improvement Program. AQIP is the accreditation process, and CQI is how we are implementing it at Columbus State. During the visit, we'll have the chance to tell our story of continuous quality improvement. As we prepare to tell our story, it'll be helpful to become more familiar with our accreditation activities. When you get a minute, please check out the accreditation tab on the website. Under About CSCC, scroll down to the AQIP icon. All the details are there about our systems portfolio, the action projects, and team awards. All those pieces make up our accreditation work over the past six years. And in our systems portfolio, we document things that we're working on. Uh, reviewers uh, look at our work and make suggestions on how we can improve them. And so we're at this point now when uh, the reviewers come to campus, they want to see um, what we've been improving on since their last review of our systems portfolio. That's where everyone on campus can play a role. The CQI team at Columbus State needs to know about any and all improvements in the past couple of years. Some of them are large projects, such as the Career Assistance Project for Undecided Students. The Board of Trustees made that an initiative three years ago. Dr. Chandra Bell helped organize the program. Helping the student figure out where they're going gives them some specific direction in terms of these are the courses I need to take, this is the um, uh, path that I need to follow. The complex system of emails and interventions requires students during their first term to either declare a major or talk to a career counselor about their career goals. If they don't, they're restricted from registering for more classes. What the intrusive intervention is designed to do is to uh, reach out to those students so that we can help them provide resources uh, that are available in terms of major and career exploration. Uh, we'll have them take assessments. Bell says the process gives students an opportunity to learn about themselves in relation to educational requirements, job outlook salary ranges, and job opportunities for their areas of interest. Another example of continuous quality improvement had a higher profile on our website, The Biggest Learner. Produced by Institutional Advancement, this reality-like video series followed two teams of academically challenged students for 10 weeks. Led by faculty advisors, each week the teams were introduced to different services or skills such as time management, study tips, and tutoring services. In the end, they all improved their GPAs, some dramatically. One final example of continuous quality improvement is a high school partnership known as College Prep Math. It began as a summer bridge math program. An agency uh, wrote up a grant uh, partnering Columbus State with Reynoldsburg High School and we were able to then implement this summer program as an actual high school class. In Reynoldsburg, three classes of seniors whose math skills were not college ready work at their own pace in modules aligned with Columbus State curriculum. It's sort of an online course, but it's in a classroom with an instructor. In this case, the high school teacher also happens to be a Columbus State math adjunct professor. When students finish at the end of the year, the program is designed to have them ready for college-level math at Columbus State or any other institution at which they choose to apply. We're trying to help the students so that they don't have to spend their financial aid dollars in so many uh, developmental courses that don't count into their major or their course of study. 
And we know that if students have to take a lot of developmental courses, they tend to become frustrated and, and many won't persist. And we want these students to be successful. So if we can raise their level of placement one, two, three courses, whatever the case may be, that's a win-win. While these are a few examples of large-scale projects, the CQI team wants to know about any type of quality improvement, even small ones. So if in your area, if you just improved a form that students use to complete um, that's continuous quality improvement and so we're, we're out to, um, to increase, increase awareness and find out uh, different things people are doing. The ultimate goal of any improvement is to increase student success and graduation rates and remember several projects each year are recognized with the quality team awards. Those awards showcase projects meeting CQI criteria and they include cash awards for members of winning teams. If you're part of a group project, fill out an application for a team award. It's on that accreditation website mentioned earlier. The deadline to apply is May 15th. Awards will be given this summer. With the team awards, um, it pulls out the good work that we're doing and we want to recognize it.